Yo, what's up? So the Yeezy merch has arrived and people are giving their sizing feedback. And uh, here's University Guzz take. Yo, it's your boy University Gus here. I went with a size 3 for both the shirt and the pants. The Vulture pants run extremely big, so I suggest sizing down. Uh, I got a size 2 for the Yeezy pod. So he suggests sizing down, and the thing about this is um, he's not wearing the pants the way they're meant to be worn. So I highly recommend against um, modifying the sizing. The size chart is part of the designer's work, and they've figured out what the sizing is supposed to be. So the way you're supposed to wear the pants, like the way Ye is here, is you tuck in the pants to the Yeezy pods. And then you're gonna get this fold over effect, like with harem pants, and you get like this um, kind of overlap down by the ankle. And that's the design, you're meant to have mad space inside the pants. You go down a size, you're not gonna have the space that's been designed for your hips to move and for your knee and everything to be able to move. Like these pants have um, like a certain purpose. There's a purposeful design here and by changing the sizing, you're messing with the design. And that's all I really wanna emphasize, like design, design, design. Like this is um, how it's, this is this fits perfectly. Um, it really, it fits perfectly. So he's size six, I would get this size exactly. I'm six foot, he's size three, size three. Um, and then the Easy Pods, uh, you know, I would get my shoe size, I would just go size three or whatever. But like, uh, like some people, like on this Yeezy Gap Balenciaga thing, like this dude, check this out, what he did. Look at how he wore it. Oh, no, that's... He thinks... He's trying to now clown them. Hold on, that's bullshit. So this is how he wore it. Like, uh, well, of course it looks stupid, dude. That's not the shirt's problem. That's what you're wearing down here's problem. That's why it looks stupid. Like, you can't seriously try and clown the designers. Like, what, you don't know how to make it? That's the design. You don't know how to make it look like all the other sweatshirts that I wear. Like, then buy those sweatshirts. The whole point of this is there's more movement, like the harem pants, the way you can actually do a split in these pants. Like, most pants restrict your movement, and this does not. Like, same with most shirts. Most shirts crop, cut into your armpits. So I, I always buy it bigger, just for freedom of movement. And this dude's trying to clown them, dude. Like, oh, your sizing is, no, that's the design. The sizing is the design. That's the pattern of the fucking garment. So this person did it perfectly. Like, share, subscribe. This is how you actually wear it. Like, see how it, it is a coherent, like, rippliness. Like, it's rippled up here because of the size, rippled on the pants because they're too long if he wasn't wearing these boots which is another solution if you're wearing the easy sweatpants and you're not wearing the pods, then you should be wearing some boots. There you go. And then you're good. Um, or if you're wearing the pods, then the solution is to tuck it in because they're supposed to be like a fold down at the ankle. You tuck it in. Here's EA with Mike Tyson in Saudi Arabia. And you can see the way that the harem pant look is happening down here with this overflow, which is actually really desirable. Like um, with the Yeezy Balenciaga, they created, they did a special thing where the cuff was on the inside so that you don't see that ribbing. The ribbing is that part like around the neck of a sweatshirt. Usually there's ribbing. Ribbing is like on the the cuff of your sweatshirt on your cuffs and on the bottom cuff of like the the bottom of the sweatshirt. So that having that be hidden underneath was a special feature to create a fold like this because people like that. People just like the way that feels. It, it just feels good. So that's that's the design. So don't don't size down. You're messing with the design, the purity, the integrity of the design has been altered if you're telling people to size down so don't size down tuck it into your yeezy pods because obviously that's the purpose that's the like or 
If you really just don't like tucking, you're like, oh, it's too tight on my ankles. Well, maybe you have probably sized down too much on your shoes, on the pods, or then just cut it. Like there's no hem anyway. You don't have a hem on the edge of the shirt. You don't have a hem on the edge of the pants. So just cut it yourself, you know? But don't sacrifice the width of the hip here because you're gonna get skinnier in the hip, skinnier in the waist, and you're gonna lose all the whole purpose of the design. If anything, I would go up a size for this dude because I want that bagginess. That's the whole purpose of this, um, I would say look, but it's more than a look, it's a design. It's like, yeah, a Ferrari looks a certain way, but that's also an aerodynamic design. And there are other aspects of the design, aspirating the engine a certain way and having a hole in the hood and whatnot. Like there's a look, yeah, but there's a certain purpose for that look. And that's the design. And, and we get that confused a lot. Like, it's not just about the aesthetics, it's about the purpose. And this is a very purposeful design. It's a very functional design. And if anything, the one thing that he hasn't completed here on, he even has a mask on. So he's got the look, he's, he's doing it, he's doing it like it should be done. But um, uh, you might be uh, identifiable through this mask, but at least you can see. And then uh, these sleeves are a little bit too tight. These sleeves are a little bit tighter than uh, ideal. Because that's going to be pinching your armpits, going to be defeated in the whole purpose. Um, I don't want to see people's nuts getting pinched. I don't want to see people's armpits getting pinched. That's out. That's uncomfortable. It's not going to improve your mood. But so that, there it is. Like, just I'm fighting for the integrity of the design here. Don't tell people to size it down and don't size it down. That's it. Um, wear it how it's designed to be worn and you're going to get the effect. And I appreciate that, like... Um, he's got the top and the bottom, you know, a complete set. Whereas like with this dude with his like, this dude with his like mix match of like, I'm just going to be totally traditional for my shoes and my pants. And then I'm just going to expect to wear some like, um, cutting edge design on the top and it's going to go together. Like <laughs> it's ridiculous. No, I don't know if he's trolling by doing that, but um, yeah, there's a certain thing called styling <laughs> and it's not the same as wearing clothes. When you wear clothes, you're just like putting something on. When you're styling, you're putting something together. Does that make sense? And these two don't go together. Whereas like this guy's setup goes together real good. Yeah, it just goes real good. The boots, the way the boots go with that, it's just a whole lifestyle. It's a it's a different thing. It's a whole different thing. You just like, at like I don't think people understand what it means, man. I don't think people understand what it means to roll out of bed in the Yeezy, you know, whatever, in this, and put your fucking boots on and go in your pajamas and your boots with full confidence to the supermarket to pick up some soy milk. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, we're still, it's still a little bit, it's still a little bit uh, early days, but the integrity of the design is important for you to appreciate the work that's been put into that design. Trust me, they did not make mistakes on the proportions. There's, it's, it, you're not gonna be like size two and one on the top and size one on the bottom or or like size three on the top and size two in the bottom no like it no one's no one's body's going to be that disproportionate they've they've got the numbers right you should definitely have the same size on the top as on the bottom